welcome back to the pin project. This is part two out of two tutorials that I created for the little man baby shower tutorials. And if you missed part one, then don't worry, I'm going to link it down below so you can check it out and catch up with us. On the second tutorial, I decided to create a cute little wreath for the little man baby shower to match with the whole theme with a cute little bow tie. And if you're interested to see the rest of this, of how I made this, then please continue and watch. And I hope you enjoy it. To start, you're going to need yarn, some hot glue, tape, and a swimming noodle. So first off, I started by cutting up the noodle to the size that I wanted because I found it a little bit too big for the wreath. And then I wrapped it around with tape just to ensure that it's nice and tight. I would highly recommend you use duct tape because that way it, it sticks much better because I had to wrap it up way more using the regular tape. And now let's start with the yarn. So I glued a little bit just to start with and be careful it's a little bit hot so then I just wrapped the yarn right around the noodle and slowly started to get the pattern that I wanted so just keep wrapping away your yarn over and over it might get a little bit stuck but no worries it's a quick fix no probs For this wreath, it took me about two of those yarn packets for the entire wreath and I guess depending on the size that you choose, that will depend on how much yarn you'll need. And again, I just started from the beginning and glued it on. This process is probably the longest process for the entire wreath. It took me about 20 to 30 minutes to do, so make sure you have some good music to jam to in the background. And that is it for the wrapping part. So now it's time to dress up your wreath into a little man. So I have some bow ties, which I did a tutorial on, as well as the letter of the baby's name and a collared shirt. So make sure you do not need this collared shirt because we're going to be chopping it away. So what you want to do is cut up the all the way up to the buttons and right around the collar. And that's all you'll need for the wreath. Everything else can go to scrap. So now that we have the collar cut up, you just want to make sure it's the same size as the wreath. And if it's a bit too long, then just cut it up. simply wrap the collar right around the wreath and you won't need glue for this part but you will need glue for the end of the collar and just dab a little bit of glue and that's it next I added in a bow tie I wasn't sure which one to add mm, they're also pretty but in the end I chose the patterned one Add a little bit of glue and then simply glue it right on top of the collar. Lastly, I was able to find a letter that I wanted for the baby's name. I got it from the dollar store or you can find it from Michael's or any supply store. Or you can simply make your own using construction paper and just cut it out. I had a nail at the back of the letter and you can just poke it in or obviously you can simply glue it. And that's it, there's your little man wreath. So this is the final product of the little man wreath. And you can hang it up pretty much anywhere, over the fireplace or on the door, anywhere you like. It's very cute and adorable and I'm sure your guests will think so as well. I hope you liked this and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And feel free to share this with your friends. And if you have any other suggestions or things that you want me to test out for you, then please comment down below and let me know what you want me to try out for you. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, oh.
Oh, oh, oh. 